Nothing like bonding with the boys, like setting up an RC tank thing that can creep on girls. Because a fish-eyed lens, thank you, Mr. What was his name? Uh, Okajima. He is like, yes, we need to basically enhance the, uh, the field of vision, right? So that we can peep better. Genius. All the boys were in on it. They're bonding. And Ituna has really settled in with the class by joining Terasaka's group. The other half of the episode was kind of hyping up Asano. He's finally returned. If you ignore episode 1.5, he's finally returned to the story ever since, you know, Karma and him kind of took an L during the finals. But a new midterms is ramping up. Are we going to do another one of those imaginary test hallucination battles? Let's begin today's reaction. Infiltrated a cafe. He basically does his own version of Moe Moe Kiyun, but I don't know what the dudes do instead of the girls. No, it's not even a, a Moe Made Cafe. It's just that this cafe has, you know, he's a guy who is so hot that ladies are like, oh, we just come here just for you. Damn, he knows what the regulars want. <laughs> he's what Okajima wishes he could be. Wow. Oh, so cool. Whoa, so many plates! I'm gonna get so wet. Look at his strength. Even Okajima agrees. Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh, he's got like a sad backstory, just him and his mom struggling. Now the sugar mama's got a tip extra, man. They gotta spend some extra money. Uh, uh, yeah, again, like you don't need brand luxury good clothing, bro. If you need clothes to make you look good, you're already playing the game wrong. It's the body type. It's the person that makes the clothes look good, not the, not the other way around. Ikemenda! You can cook too, bro. <laughs> what? Folding up like a triangle to make it easier for the next person, I guess? Alright, I guess. Ikemenda. <laughs> Basically, Isogai, Riz, Okajima, sexual harassment. <laughs> yep. Shape up? Oh, shit. From the main campus? That's actually crazy because the main campus has been brainwashed to think that end class is all just trash. But if main campus girls are, you know, sending love letters to end class boys, like that's that's like a huge disadvantage. That's like a such a handicap that we're overcoming. <laughs> oh, she suits the cool top girl. I don't know, like a persona. All the ladies love her. Yuri happening. The fuck? What you show, Koro Sensei? What can I say? He's so cool. Yeah, he's a great guy. <laughs> the fucking fraud four are here. It's not the top five, big five my ass, Asano carries. It's the fraudulent four plus Asano that makes the big five. Oh Fraud four, Asano too. Like, it's like kids aren't supposed to work. It's like a law, but like Isukai is poor. He's only trying to help out his family because he only has him and his mom, but they're willing to just like ruin that too. That's like another level of fucking evil. Leader time. Isogai Yuma. Isogai, tell me. Show me how much of a boss you are. Oh, wait, what? The last time we caught you working without leave, you got busted. So that's. 
Isekai did nothing wrong. His only defect was that he worked a fucking part-time job to support his family while in school. That's crazy. They won't. Bruh. Chance for what? What are you going to do? Those who possess the spirit to fight out in the real world are revered above all. Are we not showing fighting spirit? If your definition of fighting spirit is to be able to fight out in the real world, he's literally paying fucking taxes. What the fuck are you dumbass kids doing? Ain't none of you have a fucking source of income. All of you are literally Nepo kids with rich parents. You've accomplished nothing with your lives. Isuga is actually participating in the system by fucking working and paying his taxes. He is literally participating in the real world, showing his fighting spirit. What the fuck? Sports festival. Oh, shit. Also, what the fuck is po winning a stupid middle school sports festival is the definition of showing fighting spirit to be participating in the real world? How delusional is this logic? What the fuck? Anyways, sports festival are can come. Let's go. Yo, we should be so good. Like, we are so physically better than everyone else. Like, we're literally parkouring. Season 1, Season 2, like, like, after Season 1, we're so built and ready for this. You know they're gonna cheat too. Nah, we should do it together. Mm -mm. Now nah, I wanna help him out. Not Ikemenda this time I got baited. It's a horrible idea instead. Ike! Like, we should. All the boys coming in together. This is kind of sus. All the boys are just huddling in instead of doing a guy. You know, putting their hands on top of each other. They're, they're gripping a fucking phallic shaped object together. Just the boys too. Just the boys here. No girls here. Just the boys. Let's go. Such a team sport. Mm -hmm. it's <laughs> ah, so it's not gonna be like 10 on 10. It's gonna be like maybe 50 on 10. Like, not only do they have more players, but they're probably gonna cheat to 100% they're gonna play dirty. Let's go! Kimura's the fast one. Acts like a proud parent when he's not even related. I mean, you know, to Koro Sensei, these are his kids. Hara. Oh, Hara. Damn, let's go, Hara. Bread is for drinking. <laughs> built them, bro. How to fucking built them? Look at that aura, dude. All the other girls are like, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Nah, get the fuck out of the way, ladies. It's how a real woman does shit. <laughs> Very cool. Kaede. Oh. The lack of the titties probably helps here, huh? No air resistance. Just perfectly streamlined. Yeah, definitely not B cup. Leader. Yeah, true. Maybe you aren't, but it's not just you. You have teammates. Yeah,true. That's right. You gotta use these tools. <laughs> Takebayashi literally did this for the pose. He's just in the back. He's like... 
and then the camera's off. Normal blood. Megan has his own fucking cool pose too. He's like, yep, I know how to look the coolest with the fucking glasses on like this. <laughs> その点で君は朝の子皆がそれを共有して戦ってくれるそれは君の人徳ですチュールリーダーになれたことが嬉しいですよよしみんな一緒通りやる気でいくぞ。Let's <笑> exhibition match. Last time we had an exhibition match, it was the baseball game, and we won that. I think that history is going to repeat itself. Erito. <laughs> It's, it's not even more Japanese students. They hired a bunch of foreigners, bro. A bunch of fucking jacked white dudes out of nowhere. What the fuck is his jawline, bro? He fucking knew it the entire time. Yo, I need these dudes. These are fucking grown adults. It's like a bunch of fucking 30-year-old men from America. What the fuck? Bruh. Yeah, he does. Let's go CGI's <laughs> classmates. You can't even. They don't even have fucking voice actors. They're just fucking moving around. I want you to take note that this is the same fucking model right over here. The one over here. This one and this one is doing. The, they got the same fucking motion. They're they're literally the same object copy pasted doing the same fucking motion, bro. They're in sync doing this. Oh, it's the power crept losers. It's been a while since we've seen these two. They pretty much got like replaced by, uh, you know, the fraudulent four. Dude, I think he literally just like hired a bunch of mother... Like, we got Korea, Brazil. Is this France? Uh, uh, France. Oh, thank fucking God, it's France. Pfft, I could have been crucified there. Yeah, France, and then we have America. Hmm. It's a strategy. No, no, it's a strategy. Office <laughs> team, plan F. That's not even English, not really. <laughs> Offense team, on plan F. You, it's, it's not really English. It's not, it, whatever. Office team, plan F. Roger. Roger. <laughs> oh god, Americans are coming. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, they're too big. Bro, it's like a 300 pound of fucking linebacker. Versus two Japanese middle school kids who are each like 110 pounds soaking wet. It's not fair. Defending like a bunch of turtles. That was pretty good English, actually. That was like pretty good. Instead of defending like a bunch of turtles. <laughs> but you don't even understand me, do you? You don't even understand me, do you? Bunch of fucking. I can't say that. No, 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 I can't say that shit. I'm not trying to get banned right now. Instead of defending like a bunch of turtles. <laughs> but you don't even understand me, do you? Damn. Oh, Carla! Why don't you attack instead of chatting? Oh, wait. How does it sound in English? No, I don't have the English track here. I'm like, what? What were they speaking? Because they're English. Like, like, you know what I mean? What would the English dub sound like for this episode if they're speaking English? <laughs> but you don't even understand me, do you? It's all right, man. It's all right, man. Why don't you bring it on? <laughs> oh, we're using the pole to fucking trap them? Smart, smart. Make me. Is Nagisa around? Maybe their plan is to make sure that people are confused about with all the distractions happening. No, Nagisa's still here, sitting on them. I, I thought that maybe we send Nagisa due to his like 
invisibility like aura and just like sneak away and get the fucking flag. <laughs> Cope. Oh shit, Leader versus leader. We're just gonna run down mid and get flanked. But Mucus is very slippery. Surely we're not just gonna get caught here. We're gonna get out of this. I think this is still according to plan. The social studies? Using the environment to your advantage when you're outnumbered. It's Operation Mucus. Nah, 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 nah. Get run over, motherfuckers. You're just using the entire map? Okay, come on. Why are you speaking English to a bunch of Japanese people? Oh. Yo. Kimura got involved along with Isogai and Karma, bro. Kimura clouded. Kimura, <laughs> Everything is according to plan. Here we go. The boys are going in. I love how the commentator called them E-class goons, bro. I mean, it is the Terasaka goon squad. Yeah, they were playing dead. They were literally playing dead, bro. Yeah, all planned. They played dead and now they're at you. Smart. Get his ass. I feel like Asuna still got a plan up his sleeve, though. <laughs> oh, helmet's off. He's very nimble, too. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's trained, I guess. Damn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nagisa Glaze, what the fuck? Surely we still got one more card. Damn. Nagisa's in. Megane and Terasaka. Oh, yo, what the fuck is Terasaka grabbing over there? But Megane looks hilarious right now. Leverage. Physics. <laughs> Basically, you don't need like all of them. The leverage kind of helps. I don't fucking know. Oh, shit, he's speaking English too. Let's go. Oh shit, our trump card. Here we go. That's right. Itona is literally a super fucking human. What's gonna happen now? Yeah. Yeah, bring it down. Kill it. Let's go, boys. I think we got it. Again. Wins. Let's go. Imagine importing in fucking like offensive linemen, linebackers, fucking like, like rugby players, like the 30 year old athletes to compete with a bunch of Japanese middle schoolers and they still fucking lose.
Yo, you talked so much shit last episode too against Principal while throwing a basketball around. Yep. Outplayed. Chief Director, your son is extremely capable. Shut up. Silence. <laughs> I want this to happen. Chief Director. Yo, Principal, speak English. Son, you should tell oh, shit, Kevin. You can learn from losing. Yo, Kevin, actually, great person. I just assumed that they were all fucking evil, but like, he right. Like, this is the proper thing to do, that there are lessons to be learned and, you know, cheer them up. But no, no, no. Principal ain't he different. This dad is trying to make his son a fucking corporate slave till the day he fucking died. They're like competing against each other. You should tell him that there's a lot you can learn from losing. Wow, Kevin. I Kevin. Oh, English. Could you help me learn? I might be able to learn from Zathros. Are you saying challenge me in a 1v1 right now? Is he literally saying like, teach me, Kevin. You and me right now, let's fucking fight. If I want to lose, I might be able to oh. at once. He want to take all four back shots at once. Don't off screen it. Why are you going to off screen? Four Americans versus fucking principal. No. Yeah, we should be blazed, man. Like it's not even the first time either. We did this shit during, you know, the baseball match. We even competed and beat them in the fucking midterms in the finals. Like maybe not the midterms because we kind of we, we kind of lost, right? but still like finals we clutched. Like people see should see us in a totally different light now. Maybe. Oh, off screen. Sorry. I'm sorry. What happened? How did he won before? This is quite the lesson. Asano looks traumatized, bro. Holy shit. What a father son bonding experience, huh? Sorry. I'm sorry. Rip Kevin. Karate, no Karate back belt. Karate wo me. He just built different. He just fucking built different. Third day of karate lesson. You beat a fucking black belt? Alright, bro. Karate wo hajimete mikka me datta. Ichi nichi me wa koten. Gero wo haite korogatta yo. Oh, he was in his 30s when he did this. First day, he was defeated. But throughout the next two days, I guess he just grinded. What did you do? Hired a fucking assassin? Put some laxatives in his drink? I don't think you beat him fair. Did you beat him fair? How could a complete amateur that lost on day one suddenly beat the guy in day three with that underhanded measure? He just watched. Literally grinded. Locked in. <laughs> this is like the epitome of get good skill issue. Like there used to be a subreddit called Korean advice where the whole attitudes of Korean people offering advice was so funny where people will say, I'm so poor. What should I do? And then people would respond by saying, get money, be rich. I'm failing in my exams. What should I do? Get a hundred percent. Like no fucking shit, but you're basically telling a homeless person to just get a house. But there is something very appealing, compelling about a person who can actually deliver results by taking the get good skill issue to heart. And what dad's doing right now? He fucking did it. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> he kind of reminds me in Mob Psycho as well. Uh, season two, the main antagonist, the dad, he had the exact same mindset of just like, just, just be elite. Just fucking be good. Whatever I do, I will just be the fucking best. There is a lot of fucking blood. This whole room is trashed. <laughs> Learning from defeat. Do you see that? 
Then Damn. The monster within. You lost. Why aren't you upset, bro? You should be upset just like I was during the first day of karate lessons. <laughs> yeah, he is a monster. Asano's relationship with dad is getting worse and worse. As he continues to fail and can't meet his expectations, what's gonna happen? Will this just push Asano to like more desperate moves to just do more crazy shit? Or is this kind of like building towards a path where Asano will be free from his dad's clutches and realizes that N class and everyone else here is actually pretty cool? But you can't do that. The secret's there. And Asano was always trying to figure out the secret. Like, how are they going to use Asano moving forward, I wonder? <laughs> Yeah, you took a fucking L, bro. You better keep the deal. What? I mean, I guess his dad does. I'm like, what? Y you, you motherfuckers have been cheating and doing underhanded shit to get the better of us. Every time. Like, you literally imported Americans. You, what? Whatever. True, but I don't think we could ever understand Asano's struggle as well. Like, yeah, Asano couldn't understand Isogai's struggle, right? For sure, Isogai is struggling, you know, they're in poverty, they're broke, you know, he's doing working hard for his mom. But Asano has his own set of problems, and I think they may be even worse than Isogai's. Sure, maybe Asano doesn't have to worry about rent being fucking due and not being able to pay bills and being homeless that probably is you know worse but like the shit that he has to go through with his monster dad i don't think anyone here would really want that either <laughs> you know that you can make friends without being poor right <laughs> Let's go, leader. That was a very nice episode of Classroom. Of the, sorry, assassination classroom. Any type of show in high school settings, middle school settings, right? Sports festival is usually a really hype arc. And yes, this battle was fucking amazing. A lot of clever usage of the map. Baking our deaths. You know, and then getting the better of them, fantastic. Isogai, truly a man, sorry, a man amongst men, and he's just so cool. I thought that maybe they would utilize Nagisa's like secret silent assassin type shit and just sneak up, but basically, you know, we set everything up. Itona did a fucking missile diving kick and we won. Asano, I think, did pretty well, but the thing about him is that he tries to do shit by himself. There is no other people trying to work, you know, you know, working in harmony like our class, right? And he himself may be very capable by himself, but there's only so much you can do alone. And the whole lesson is, you know, if you have a group of teammates, and even if you, you're, so you're, you yourself as an individual can't really measure up against the other guy, as a team, you could surpass them. So it's a great lesson to be had. I still really feel bad for Asano, though. The more I watch this show, the more I realize that this poor kid is just being tormented by his dad, and the hostile, cold attitudes that he displays to the other kids, it's not really from within or necessarily what he wants to do, but what he needs to do to kind of prove his worth to dad. It's, it's, it's a really fucked up relationship. What the dad's saying may make sense in the most absolute extremes, and to him, because he can do it, right? Just beating a fucking black belt by simply observing a dude for one fucking day, grinding and beating. Yeah, you're super gifted, you're super talented. But to project that standard onto others, there has to be a better way to go on about this, right? There, there definitely has to be a better way, some sort of compromise to, you know, set yourself as inspiration, motivation, saying, I can do it, you can do it too. But rather than just saying, I can do it, why can't you do it? And just like saying like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I don't know, this is this is really twisted. I kind of want like a redemption, not really a redemption, but a Koro Sensei to save Asano, but he can't really do that because he's not part of the end class and the secret can't be told to him. But he was always willing to, you know, try to seek the secrets and maybe with them being pushed against a corner like this, will he? betray his father's expectations and become quote-unquote better to our standards or will he continue to get pressured into a corner and then do even something more volatile i don't know that's it from me though if you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time
Take care.